Good evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Alex Libby. Taking a look at our temperatures in sky conditions across Minnesota and Wisconsin, we're seeing temperatures a little bit warmer to the south in the mid-70s. But here in the Northland, we're mainly in the upper 60s and low 70s. And uh, zooming in, just showing our area, there are some cooler spots. Ely is one of them, and so is Grand Marais, just in the low 60s. Ironwood with that lake breeze is only at 62 degrees right now, really chilly out there. And that's thanks to some wind. We had a cold front that brought some rain showers last night, really not much in the way of rain showers. But what it did bring was drier air and a good little breeze that brought in some cooler air as well. And that will stay with us throughout the day tomorrow. We have high pressure overhead uh, tonight and early tomorrow morning. As you can see, it goes up towards Canada and that clockwise rotation around the high brings us an easterly wind. So the west wind today will become calm tonight and change out of the east tomorrow. So if you live in, along Lake Superior, you're gonna be a little bit cooler as lake temperatures are in the low 60s. But if you live inland, right around the same as we were today. So low 70s. And then we're tracking a cold front. So that's our next weather maker. It won't get here until Sunday afternoon. As you can see, this is at 6 p.m. on Sunday, just getting into the far western areas of Lake of the Woods County, not even into Itasca County yet, but we're working on that rain, getting into the area overnight on Sunday. So the good news is if you don't like rain, it's going to fall all in the nighttime hours. And it does look like it'll be some pretty good beneficial rain with some yellows and oranges, bringing us some moderate and even some heavy rain. And it's out of here by Monday morning. So overnight rain is kind of nice. We get the beneficial rain and we don't have to deal with uh, having to bring an umbrella to work that day. In the afternoon, we stay with those sunny skies. Zooming in, I'll time it out a little bit better. Tomorrow morning, we're going to have that east wind. And this model showing a little bit of Lake effect with rain, I don't think that's necessarily going to happen. I don't think we're going to have a strong enough wind for that. But that's what this model is picking up on. So if you see a shower on the North Shore, don't be surprised. Tomorrow afternoon, the sun is mainly going to be overhead. We see a few clouds, but the clouds really won't start increasing until that sun starts going down. You can see by 10 p.m., overcast skies in the Twin Ports, rain getting into Big Fork, International Falls, Baudette already getting into some rain. And it's going to be a quick hitting rain. It's going to come right through and it's going to end quickly. 5 a.m. is when I'm thinking the rain will get through the Twin Ports, but it'll be over by the time you wake up and head to work at around 9 a.m. Forecast for tonight, 51 degrees, so chilly. Waking up tomorrow morning, bring your dog out for a walk. You might want a light jacket. Mostly clear skies will allow those temperatures to get down into the low 50s, even some upper 40s possible. Highs tomorrow, right around where we were today, 73 degrees. Mostly sunny, but we will have those increasing clouds right around sunset is when I'm thinking we'll see those clouds really increase. And our seven-day forecast is definitely showing cooler temperatures, 68 degrees for a high on Monday with those clouds. Tuesday will get up to 72 and Wednesday 74, but back down to the 60s for Thursday and Friday. And don't, what is that on Saturday? It says seven, ignore that. I thought I, <laughs> I, thought I had that fixed. Seven like degrees seven. already. We have, a, we have a low of 49, a high of seven. That doesn't make any sense. I, I think uh, 71 on Saturday. Yeah, that's what you're going with there? That's what, that's what, I, that's what I was meant to type in. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. I mean, honestly, this is, I was saying this to someone yesterday. This is my favorite time of year when we're not quite too cold yet. We can go outside with a sweatshirt or a flannel on. It's just perfect Duluth weather. And the good news for the rain, it was looking like it was going to be Monday during the daytime hours, but it's going to be Sunday night. So good news for rain haters. Yes. <laughs> rain haters or people that don't want to start the work week with some rain. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Alex.